The COVID-19 pandemic compelled a lot of behavioral change as there were no more handshakes and hugs, and ideas such as social distancing and the wearing of nose masks became part of our lives. As these have become the new normal, the pandemic is also influencing how people like Eleanor Konote Aholu do their shopping. So this pandemic has actually influenced and affected my shopping as I now have to rely on online portals and social media to make inquiries and purchase things. I place my orders every other week. I don't go online every week. I may find something every week, but I wait to place my orders every other week. And I receive them via courier services since I wouldn't want to be out there. The pandemic may have its downsides, but it clearly has become a game changer for online businesses. The chief operating officer of Jumia Ghana, Lionel Mobi, agrees. Uh, as an online company, we really saw this as uh, an opportunity for us to increase our relevance because uh, it's a time where we want to minimize uh, social interaction as much as possible. And uh, for that, we had to adapt our processes and uh, make sure that we, uh, our customer experience have, is very good so that uh, we are able to uh, 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 make people continue having good, continue eating through our platforms. So it's, we, we see it as a big opportunity for us to increase our relevance and I think uh, so far we are happy of the result because the customer adoption is, uh, is good. Even though the outbreak of COVID-19 has been a big win for online business operators, they have also been compelled to make some adjustments to improve their service delivery. Uh, the two most important things that we did is that we push uh, online payment to make sure that we don't have uh, cash manipulation as much as possible. And secondly, we did uh, contactless delivery, which basically you can be delivered without having a physical interaction with what on our driver. Knowing that the driver already, even you have an interaction, is uh, a kit to make sure that, and he's trained to make sure that he adheres to the, the COVID protocol. So it basically, to, uh, to see, explain simply, so the, 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 the rider will call in uh, to come and deliver your package as normal. Once he calls you, he arrives at your destination, he's going to drop the package there at a certain point. And uh, to make sure that you have received the package, we are going to send you a one-time password. Once you receive the package, you enter the one-time password on our app and we know that you have been delivered. So in the delivery that does not require any contact, you just have to disinfect the package and uh, everything is safe. Uh, unlike when you have to hand direct, the hydro has to hand direct the package to you. Presently, Ghana's COVID-19 case count is at almost 8,000. And Public Relations and Communications Manager of the company, Bennett Otu, believes opting to shop online is one good way of reducing one's chances of contracting the virus. I, I must say that we, we, are, we are not in normal times. So traditionally, we would want to go out and see the physical product for ourselves, to feel it and touch it before we buy. But um, because of the times that we are in, shopping online is the best practice at the moment. You get to stay in the convenience of your home or your office, order these items, and then they get delivered to you. So it, it saves you from the risk of going out there to contract the virus. Jumia Ghana has even gone ahead to give out masks and sanitizers to some Ghanaians to help in the fight against COVID-19. Online shopping may have its own drawbacks, but it may have come to stay. There are times when you have you know, the fake ones, but mostly genuine because I've been shopping a lot and there are just a few hitches here and there. Um, I think the business is thriving and if we actually pay attention to it, we'll go far with this online shopping. We actually need to understand the business to, to let it thrive more than it is.